Good evening and welcome to Ending the Day with God on Monday the 3rd of October. We opened with Spirit of God, unseen as the wind. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The Lord is the strength of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. And now to our reading and reflection. For our evening reflections today, we begin a new topic. And over the next two weeks, we're going to be exploring the scriptures to ascertain just what kind of community God desires to see among the human beings who have chosen to follow him. We shall see that from the first pages of Genesis to the end of Revelation, there is a consistent message that God is profoundly interested in human relationships and that humans are at their best when they work in a creative harmony with others. Sadly, the scriptures are also full of stories of pain and tragedy caused by the breakdown of relationships. In the New Testament, fellowship is usually the word used to translate from the Greek koinonia, this is a feminine noun chosen by the New Testament writers and it describes a particularly strong bond of love and trust between humans. We may not succeed in finding a better translation than fellowship, but the word is not important. Living in the reality of its meaning is. And so to our first passage comes from Genesis chapter 2. It is not good for humans to be alone. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper as his partner. So out of the ground the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all cattle and to the birds of the air and to every animal in the field. But for the man, there was not found a helper as his partner. Thanks be to God. This account of creation in Genesis presents a beautiful image of God. He is tender and intimate, so close to the man that he breathes life into his nostrils. He plants a garden for him that not only provides sustenance for the man, but nourishes his spirit through its beauty. By the time you get to verse 18 of this chapter, you have the impression that God loves seeing the man delighting in this fresh, beautiful and sustaining creation. But he notices a problem. The man is lonely. God's first attempt at curing the man's loneliness is sending animals and birds. It is clear they're not enough. It is then that God realises just what the man needs, a woman. So he forms this human from the ribcage of the man, the bone nearest to his heart. The message is clear. Humans were designed to be close to their creator and close to each other. But this next chapter of the story is of the fall where the intimacy between the man and the woman and between the humans and their creator is dreadfully fractured. Humans have developed into a multitude of different personalities 
with varying degrees of need for human companionship. But what this story from Genesis tells us is that the need for meaningful relationship is one of our most basic. Today, in our prayers, let us thank God for the relationships that are most significant to us. Amen. We join together now in the Lord's Prayer saying, Our Father, who Lord, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we thine unworthy servants do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honour and glory, world without end. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.